We're joined in studio right now by the lovely and talented Joe DeRosa. Hi, guys. Joe DeRosa uh, was coming by. We didn't find out about this until earlier, and I swear to you, you're one of the few people that can pull that shit off. Because when they try to dump fucking guests on us last minute. Oh, oh, oh. Apparently, yesterday, uh, they asked, you asked Mr. Bill Burr to come back in, and he said, I will bring DeRosa with me. And they said, okay. Yeah. And then, uh, but guess what? Where's Bill? Yeah, where's uh, Bill? <laughs> Is he coming? He said he's coming. We have a show going on sale in an hour. It's for January. I have to plug it because my fucking commercial hasn't been running. Oh. So uh, yesterday when we weren't here, there was no plugs for that at Poughkeepsie. That's, that's good. Are you kidding me? Mm. Oh, my I fucking annoyed. Not. Tonight, uh, they think it's January 16th. is myself, uh, Burr, uh, David Tell, Jim Brewer goes on sale in less than an hour at the Borgata.com. And I'll be in Poughkeepsie tonight and tomorrow. But, you know. You wouldn't know that if you were listening yesterday because oh. the fucking commercial was not running Wednesday or yesterday. So thank you. Thank you. So that, I want to fucking... Why are you thanking them for doing something? I really want to bite somebody. <laughs> it is, I fucking hate... It's like, that's my job. Yes. It is. Ugh. And someone else had a job and it wasn't done. That sucks. It, it makes me want to fucking cave somebody's head in. I hate people that don't do their jobs right. Oh, that hate was me. Them. I was supposed to be here yesterday, and I wasn't. <laughs> Oops. We're, we're, we're not in charge of running promos. I just took the fucking day off. <laughs> but I figured promos are running. I figured they'd be running. Yeah. yeah you know, you, we're you not here. Yeah. yeah, things like that would be scheduled, as they say. Cool. Jimmy Every plays chess. Oh, I do, yes. Just trying to add you You're in. Oh, that's okay. Jimmy plays chess. You chess. go play in the park with the timers? Uh, no, those guys are uh, home. A lot of those homeless guys are, are as good as master level players. No, I don't at all. I, well, I don't how does that do. happen anyway? It's all they do. They play for food. I and cannot drinks. get my do life together, really that good? but <laughs> I can play chess. Grandmaster is actually one of those Washington Square to play against because they're 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 just they shit talk. They play two minute games. They're literally fucking animal. shit talk. They're yes. talking and shitting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time. It's but they're terrible. Right? They're loud. They're taunters. Rook to king. <laughs> 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 Oh. Uh, and then you feel bad because he checkmated you, and then he goes to sleep under the table. He's like, well, yeah, I guess it all comes out in the great. wash, doesn't it? Uh, you just, you, do. just, you yeah. just lie in wait, don't you? You just sit here, you listen to us go on and on about nonsense, and then you come out with these zingers. That's, that's, that's smart. That's, that's Jimmy. That's or, calculated. Or he sits and fumes about incompetence, which yeah, is I'm, good. A, I'm in a foul <laughs> mood, which has nothing to do with mind. you at all. No, no, Something of course Something happened off, off the air Actually, with... Actually, uh, Zachary has to go. We just, just oh. got the, uh, the note. Well, hey, what hey, are you doing? What, Some kind of TV? What do you got, TV? Uh, what do you mean? A face like that has to be on television. A face like that... He doesn't get that picture. So we just had a uh, welcome to the Opie and Anthony show. Bill Bird just came in. Just so you know, what we're dealing with off the air is we're just having a major issue with this guy's pu publicists are just the most entitled individuals. Yeah, they're awful. He was cool. He was great. He was fine. He was a very nice dude. Yeah. I I'm in a bad mood because our promos were not running for the last couple of days. You're a loose yeah, but wait, dude wait. in a bad mood. Joe, you know what time it is? What time? Fifteen minutes till the tickets go on sale. Holy oh. shit! January sixteenth, of course, myself, Burr. Hi, Bill. Great show, Hello. man. <laughs> Attell and uh, and uh, and Brewer. But I'm almost too much mood. show. Yeah, it really is say. a great show. Almost. <laughs> but she's short. Of the too Miami much show. Heat. Yeah, comedy shows. It really is. <laughs> she came in here. She sat in the back. We never let publicists in the room because they're no, fucking no. draining life drainers. And uh, while, while, while the guy's doing his interview, she taps me and asks for my pen. And then she's holding up a sign to me with his website on it. To plug it. And I'm like, would you do that if it was television? She got mad because she's an, she's an extraordinarily entitled individual as a publicist. And everybody kisses her ass. And she got mad because Danny and I reacted annoyed because I'm on the radio and she fucking tapped. Me. Do you believe she tapped him and held up a sign for his website? I've now, never had that in 20 years no, no, of no, comedy. What I can't believe is that Jim did not take it and then rip it up in oh, her I face. Know, I know. Because I, I'm in a horrible mood already, and it would have gotten. I would have said something barbaric to her. And I didn't want to do that. <laughs> barbaric. Jimmy, that's radio gold. Barbaric. No. Yeah. And I would have listened. <laughs> she's I would have listened. She's awful. Oh, yeah. She's a very and she's like, I don't know why it benefits you to have a bad relationship with me. I don't give a benefits fuck. Benefits you. What? It's not, wait a minute. First of all, I'm not having a bad relationship with you. You started being a bitch about That's the That's what you got to say. If all your clients left yeah, you, what exactly, what talent yeah, what do, do you, you have? Do? What exactly? Yeah, what Can you, you spill some you plates? You'd be, you'd be barking <laughs> in Times Square for Chicago tickets. Yeah, yeah. That's all you'd be able to fucking do. <laughs> you 
you fucking cab driver. I told you, we have, an you on, we have a rule, an on-air rule, oh, no and no I, publicists in the room. It's not about the, I, I was trying to let Roland and Talent off the hook because it wasn't their fault. But it's not even a rule that's I don't like want him in one here. of our rules. No one lets the publicist in the, the Yeah, so, so if he's studio. doing Conan, are you going to walk out and sit with him she's on the fucking set of Conan and hold up a set? Or are you going to stand by the camera and hold up a, No, yeah. she's going to stay in the back. She literally said, I don't know how it benefits you. The arrogant, yes. and I'm like, well, I don't know how it benefits you to have a bad relationship with us. We have a massive audience. Yeah. I don't care if she, she's like, I'll oh. never do your show again. And I'm we like, were I very, don't care. Because we were good to her. I'm client. like, we treated him great. So it's not about him. It's about how I he said that to her. But it's so about she's you. She's gonna fuck over her clients based on how she felt she was treated. And by yeah. the way, fuck you. By the way, fuck you. I'll never do your show again until one of your clients goes, "I want to do the Open Anthony right, show," right. and you bow down oh, and go, "Okay, yeah, okay. you fucking hello, leech, hello, hello, hello. you hello. fucking leech." Fuck her. That's the problem with publicists <laughs> like that. You never. <laughs> they, they should not. That's that's why I, I love my publicist. She never comes in with me. I don't need to be coddled. Stay outside. You it's don't their come nature. In here and hold up a sign to Jim Norton like that. The fucking <laughs> nerve of that woman while I'm working. How fucking dare you? Uh, and I know she apologized. Didn't she see you had your tuxedo on, Jimmy? How, but how she you never. Were, you were doing a show. <laughs> she's like, I've, <laughs> she's like, I've done a lot of radio shows. I've been radio shows before, and that's the respect they have for radio guys. That's the way they uh, look at radio. As a medium, and that's why a lot she of these dumb publicists. That, Jimmy, that's uh, the truly insulting part. Is because if you use the Conan defense with her, she'll go, "Well, Conan, that's different." I said to her, "Would oh, you bring?" I said, "Would you? Would you, know you do a TV? Would you be hold up a sign?" Show. Huh? It's a talk show. It's well, fucking... But that's my point. She's going to fucking sit there and tear off everybody and go, well, you guys are here. Uh, that's over there to me. Yeah, fuck her. She sounds like a I, wonderful woman. She, uh, <laughs> she certainly does. An entitled, <laughs> no, an entitled yeah. person. And I, I did let her know that. And I'm like, you're making it about you. It's not about you. No wonder why certain publicists are found in their cars in L.A. <laughs> Wait, can we get... Jesus. I thought, I thought get... where this was going. I thought initially... No, 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 dude, I thought was... Jimmy was riffing on this person who got shot like the beginning no. of the Can father. we get uh, Billy Crud up? into the conversation <laughs> here. He really looks he like the guy. So much shit. There's no way he doesn't, he can't get you coke. <laughs> He's like, back in the day when he still cut an album, like that's yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. Was he there when John Holmes got murdered? <laughs> or, the, Wonderland? One of our interns. Yeah. What the hell's his name? His oh, name is Boogie know. Nights. Boogie Nights. <laughs> she threatened to not bring her fucking client in if she wasn't allowed to the studio. If I would have known that. Yes, yeah, yeah, she said, she no, never, I'm coming in. And then I, Kenny went, no, uh, you know, you, you Publicists stay out here, and then she said, "I, I my client won't go in unless I yeah, go that's in." What, that's the arrogance really? of this woman. I don't care who she is. I don't care who she handles. She doesn't get me booked on the Tonight Show. She's never gonna help is or hurt she, me. Is she in every scene uh, that he's in in movies and his TV show? Is she in the background to make sure she's there with him? She's during awful. every facet uh, dude, of his life. I don't care. Who she? I, I really don't. <laughs> I don't care if she has the whole fucking <laughs> cast of Tron. It's irrelevant to me. We've done the show a long time. It's the first person to really scared. To borrow she's a scared higher. that her client's going to come in here and kill it while she's out there and realize that he doesn't really need her she's at this level. She's She's a troll. <laughs> the fuck? Can you imagine? I will. I, I'm not going in if he if he doesn't go in. If I don't go in, I wish I would hear my publicist say that. I'd fire her on the fucking spot. Uh, yeah, fucking shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah, God, that annoys yeah, Fuck you. Say shit. And we have promos that are supposed to be running for the show. They weren't running for the last two days. So they weren't put in the system. So I'm just in a fucking horrible mood. So yesterday we weren't here, and the promos weren't running. And that's oh, you know. God. It's, it's okay. I, I I Facebooked and told people they could buy tickets like three days ago because that's how good I am on the internet. Then I got like 20 emails. Uh, dude, just to let you know, the tickets haven't gone on sale Not yet. Not sale yet. For the Borgata. It's going to be huge. January 16th. Yeah, the I think Miami it'll sell Heat very well. Of yeah, comedy shows. That's how, that's, if I was a publicist, that, that's the spin I would use. Yep. Yeah. I would too. The old huge. spin. Oh, my. Huge. I, I, after to talking one. to her, I hate her even more. I have absolutely no respect for her. I don't care if she hears every word. How did too. you look at her and not just? I'm not going to yell and curse at her because this is, again, like a, like a you're insane a professional. chimp, bite even, her face off. I even said to her, <laughs> and don't threaten to pull him. I'm like, don't, don't hurt the rest of the platform. I don't care if you pull him from our show. Go ahead, but don't pull him from the rest of the show. Yeah, what the arrogance that? Well, then no, she will not be in any of this kingdom. I won't bring any of my people. That's yeah. the problem with publicists and, and, and artists bring it on themselves because fucking artists cower behind their publicists, and most of them have no personalities. Some she just turn around and go, hey, lighten up. 
Like, you work These for me, fucking fucker. fucking people kill me, too. too. How <laughs> dare you insult me? I will never give you the cast of Gossip Girl. Exactly. On your show. Uh, you're a fucking... A fuck. You're a no talent. Yeah, yeah. You're, th that's why you do what you do. Because you have to associate with the business somehow. You have to glom onto it somehow while contributing nothing <laughs> you know artistically. The, you know the interesting story that she been must rude. have about celebrities that she tells her family like she's uh, inside? Uh, uh, no, uh, yeah, but then you gotta tell it like you're so over it and you don't watch TV. Right, right. You're I just don't want to name whatever. any names, but yeah, fuck yeah. And if you don't Eddie like it, Deason, I go across oh, the street to Mitch and Murray. Fuck you. <laughs> you're a fucking secretary. <laughs> <laughs> that really, really... And maybe I should have went out there and talked to her, but I didn't want to see Roland get blamed for something that had nothing to do with him. Were you, were you nice yeah. to her at least when you told her she couldn't... Oh, I kicked her in the cunt and told her. It was procedure. <laughs> yes, that's the what I do. The bottom line, if for her saying that, there's nothing Kenny could have done to inspire that. I was no, following no. procedure. R Roland, yes. Roland held the door open for the guy to go in. She tried to follow in, and Roland said, no, I'm sorry, you can listen so from I here. So I gently tased her. And she goes, no, I'm going in. I'm going, no, I'm sorry. The nerd, the, not the fucking fact that she would say to somebody that works here, no, I'm no, going, I'm going in. in. Right. Who the fuck are you? you know she, she sounds like you, Jimmy. Did she irk you? Dude, I know. I look at her <laughs> face. I know exactly the type of person she is. I know exactly you, right? the kind of person she is. She's every fuck. <laughs> there's nothing there. She's entitled. By the way, to the listeners, Jimmy has been standing since oh, I came yeah, in here. Oh, yeah. Because Jimmy I, is standing oh, up, yeah, man. Yeah. Because for the greater good of the company, I did not curse at her. And she thought I was being rude. Here's the problem. Nobody confronts that no woman one, I was just gonna say, on no her awfulness. Her. She's entitled. Everybody kisses her ass. I don't know. I'm a stand-up lady. I don't give a fuck about who you handle. You're not going to handle me. You go. <laughs> you just going up to her. Her was rude <laughs> Ding to me. It was, an, that was rude. <laughs> to me, it was a courtesy that I showed her. Is Jimmy the greatest? He, Honestly, just, he just sounded like Archie Bunker. <laughs> All you need to do is call it dingbat. <laughs> Jimmy, why don't you let yourself get this worked up about a piece of shit like that? Who gives a fuck? Fuck. Uh, don't, no, I don't no, care. Don't, don't, thank you. Don't, don't don't ever ruin your day, dude. Whatever. I'm already she, mad. She I'm already like... mad because down the hall they were supposed to put our promos in, and my promos for Poughkeepsie, and they weren't in for two days now. I'm very angry about that. But that annoyed me because I saw in her face she's everything I despise and di and don't respect in show business. Oh, jeez, the publicist wants to come in. Here, huh? <laughs> what are you coming in here for, uh, there, Ding Dang? Why, why don't, don't you there? sit over there? <laughs> you can stay outside. <laughs> you. The Jew broad publicist <laughs> wants to come in and count his pennies. Oh, oh, Jesus. The no I've got to hurt a client like that and not let him promote in front of this audience. It's like, do you, you know, know what, how you know stupid she sounds you are? like? She sounds like. Remember when they did the TV version of the Letterman Leno battle? Remember oh, Leno's yes, manager? The manager. Yeah, that, she, she sounds like the, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Helen Kushnick. Yeah, like oh. the. Because obviously you never met her in real life. The TV version, the TV book version. version, that's what she sounds right, like. Right. But uh, I, I would, I, to, me, to me, it was a courtesy to go talk to her. Because I guess, again, publicists, they're like every other, but everybody else in show business. They're just all behind the scenes sneaks. They're non contributors. Nobody just talks face to face. Nobody just goes, look, that was our rule. That was not rolling. That was our. Nobody does that. And, just in all front of, and by the way, in front of one of our bosses, saying that we yeah. were assholes. But we weren't assholes. It's a don't, great fucking one of our, thing. Who, which one of our bosses? Fucking who? Uh, what boss? Well, who was it, uh, Kenny? I'll... The new boss of the talent handler. That's not our boss. Oh, it's no, not my no. boss. Same as Roland the old boss. boss. Yeah, it's Roland's boss. Fuck him. Well, no, no. She, 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 <laughs> Roland was great to her, though. I'm teasing, of course. I love the and little the pudgy fucking, man. And the fucking slave mentality that perpetuates every goddamn artist in this business uh, that lets these fucking pieces of shit yeah. actually go, no, I'm the one that needs to be tended to right now. I'm important. Go fuck yourself. She was the important. You know, it, to her, she was the important one in this whole thing. Fuck with it, whatever he you know wanted what? to say or do or anything. She's in. I'm charge. not going to say a bad word about her because I don't know how it helps me to have a bad relationship <laughs> yeah. with that person. You know, she I've said never that, heard of. You're, Bill Burr, you are right. <laughs> but it was almost like I was going over there. Jimmy. If she didn't tap me, you want to yeah. be on Hot 97 ever in your life, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> her, you, Bill, I she, can make that happen. She tapped me and held up a. That to me was all I needed to know about her. The the uh, the sign my, said want to fuck. <laughs> yeah, and I said no. <laughs> the pomposity, if I may. Yeah. Oh, you may. The lack of respect for radio that people like that have. This dummy. This dummy, who obviously doesn't do her job well, would rather have him promote probably on a local news show than on this. 
right, show, which right. has a, a lot more listeners because they don't understand what radio. Mm -hmm. They're just dumb. And it's going to make him more personable. It's not just. And like he was great. It was not going to do it. No, we were talking video games with the fucking guy. It's not like. And everyone that comes in here doesn't have to talk about that movie. We'll plug it. We'll get it across and everything. But how about you let the guy be a human fucking being and be relatable to people that go, oh, wow, okay, that's that guy. It's I'll cool. never do that show like again. And she's so sitting there holding up a sign. The plug the website. Not for, not for nothing. And this is yes, no sir. disrespect to that guy because uh -huh. he was really cool. But. But I was in here when Ed Norton was in here. You didn't get anything like that with Ed Norton. And Ed no, Norton is no. a goddamn Oscar winning Who was it? fucking. Yes. Right? Who was Am it? Am I wrong? Uh, it was uh, Zach um, Levi. Yeah. No way. The guy I, from Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. Chuck. Holy shit. Well, I don't even Chuck. know what that is. <laughs> if it's not on ESPN, I, I don't know too. what it is. I said that. And it's, so and it's not a conspiracy it. theory. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Let she, me tell you, she, you wait are, a minute. she was exhibiting signs of mind control. <laughs> mind control. I think the harp unit oh, was dude. tuned into her. That made me laugh so hard just then that I got lightheaded. I almost passed out. It was such a shooting laugh that came out of my face. The it's secret it's society of the publicists. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You know, it's, 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 it's something that, it's the Illuminati. You know what I like? I like when he goes to storm in somewhere and he acts like they don't know he's coming and you stay show him from behind walk in the and the camera's be, there. Uh, they're already in the office. Yeah, yeah. When he walked in, what, what are you what are you doing here? Yeah. Aha. Uh, yeah, well, dude, uh, yeah, but you know what's worse? Wall those Street are the only Boys guys. Club. Those are the only conspiracy theorists that they put on TV. It's just like Jerry Springer. It's the worst of the worst. The worst they get on there. I see things. Yeah, it's that yeah. approach. <laughs> it's the storm in and pretend like you're just storming in thing. Yeah. Or it's the Michael Moore thing when you walk into the Kmart corporate office and they go, Yeah, you can't come upstairs with your fucking cameras. Yeah, yeah. Just showing up. And he goes, Well, obviously they're hiding they're something. They're hiding something. No, dickhead. You can't roll up with a fucking camera <laughs> crew. I like the uh, the Jesse Ventura approach is the Ralph Cramden approach when he walks in. Aha! <laughs> oh, cocktail time! Come on out, Hob! <laughs> Come on out, Hob! I know you're up to something, yeah. and you know that I you know, know that I know <laughs> that the Hop unit's doing mind control. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Area 51. I'm not. I'm not. They got guns. Let's run, not. Uh, Wouldn't it be great at the end of every episode when Ventura's stupid theories are proved wrong? If yeah. he had to act like Cramden when he yeah, when yeah. he realizes he's wrong, just and make that face and kind of <laughs> wave his arms around, and then just go to the black girl at the table, baby. You're, you're the, the greatest. greatest. <laughs> you're the greatest. Sad I'm thing. Driving. The sad thing is he isn't hundred oh, percent wrong. Jesus he's Christ. just the, he's not the guy. He's so not the guy. He's not the guy. He if, if, you, if you just sat there and just talked about the Federal Reserve in a calm. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, first of all, they couldn't have it. If they figured out everything was built on I'm sand. I'm going in. Here's the secret building where all the conspiracy is. It, why don't you just fucking ask somebody? Walk in. <laughs> we spoke with a man in a van in the middle of the desert. <laughs> You know, that was you know, the most the, ridiculous thing I ever saw. No, the, the worst one. The worst one is that Ghost Hunters. Ah. Oh. Like, I love how you're going to watch the episode. Like, the th like this is the episode. They're going to prove that ghosts exist. Yes. But for some reason, this isn't international news at this point. Like, you're no. going to walk into the office the next day. Hey, did you see? They, they proved it. The trailer is always some kind of thing where it's like, did you hear that? Dude, I don't know what that was. Something went, ah! And then ghost hunters. And then it's always grainy footage. It's, the best part is when yeah. they sit there and they get mad at the ghost and they set up all this stuff and they, the ghost always has a name. They're like, Mary Ellen, you have 17 minutes to show yourself. I love... Or else what? I love that... Or else what? I've been here a while. 17 minutes. Yeah. I could do that on my head. I love that fucking reality show, like, Tease. I used to do a bit about that, how, like, they'll be like, coming up next on Bakers or whatever. And I'll be yeah. like, it's two guys in the kitchen like, I'm gonna fucking rape you! <laughs> and you're like, holy shit, I got I'm like, I got if they this raped is... each other, it would have been in the paper six <laughs> yeah, fucking months ago. <laughs> like, they raped each other on this show. It's We're... the most dramatic moments. That's another one. That, that, like, uh, uh, any kind of paranormal activity or something. They always have that night vision. It's grainy. You see the people's eyes are all open wide. And, and, and you can see their retinas. What was that? And it's like, and what was that? Downstairs. And then they run downstairs. It's I like, why, it's don't a... you have, why don't you have a camera in every room? Shaky it's... camera. And then you hear, oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> tune in for the next. And, and then you tune in and nothing ever happened. Yeah. The oh my God was like, 
We're out of film. Oh my God! Someone should have gotten the film. That's Dude, fucking. I, I can a literally great go point. on the internet and look at my apartment from outer space, see a <laughs> yes. picture of it, and they can't find a ghost in an eight-room colonial. No. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get. They can't get footage of it. That's a, <laughs> oh, we just missed it. That's a great uh, point about not having a camera and every. They're, they literally react like a dad that just had a kid for the first time. Yeah, All right, yeah. honey, we're gonna tape everything. <laughs> quick, quick, get over here. He's walking. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you know what it is? Horrible. It's the music man. That's what they're doing with yes, ghosts. With ghosts? <laughs> what does that mean? The music man was uh, uh, this, this old musical. The guy uh, didn't know anything about instruments. And he came there and he got the town all fucking stirred up that they were going to put in a pool hall. Ah, oh, Jesus, Joe, I can't remember. We did it's it old. We did it in fifth grade. It's 76 old. trombones. Well, that's the big parade. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know that song. I think I did it in fifth grade, too, or something. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was, oh, I told, did I tell you that story? Were, were, you one, were you with the star? Or? No, this is the best thing. You know that song, The Wells Fargo Wagon? Oh, Jesus. They got this thing, you know, the Wells Fargo wagon is a comet, but this was their big, <laughs> this was their big excitement. Ah, the big number. That, like no, a no. Busby Berkeley movie. No, like back, <laughs> back in the day, you gotta, I, you gotta let me get this story out before you trash me. Ah, I won't. The Wells, the Wells Fargo wagon was like the stagecoach or whatever, and that would show up, and whatever you ordered was coming to town. There was no internet, no TV, so this was a big sure. deal back then. So in the movie, it's pulled by like a bunch of horses, and everybody's screaming, the Wells Fargo wagon, singing, right? <laughs> arm in arm, dancing down the street. <laughs> so in our thing, obviously our production, we don't have money for fucking horses. So there was this one kid, you know, that kid who's just 5'10 in the fifth grade, mildly retarded, <laughs> and they had him pull the Wells Fargo wagon in, right? And they, so the whole cast is singing, the Wells Fargo wagon, and all the parents are there, and this big kid comes in, pulls it in, and the crowd is so freaking out, like he starts getting freaked out, and he's pulling in, and he's just going, like, eh, eh. he's just started yelling, and all the parents went from excitement to immediately feeling bad. <laughs> they, they made this kid play a team of horses, and, and he I, was retarded. Yeah, I didn't even realize it until years later. I'm like, holy shit, you know, so and so. I'm not gonna say his name was playing a team of horses. He got all excited. Did they at least put a horse costume on him? No, they didn't. He was. He, they, they dressed him up. <laughs> They dressed him up like a postman or like a clerk, a bellhop, and they had him pulling a stagecoach. <laughs> and he got all excited. Well, at first he was like smiling, and then, Jesus and then everybody was going like, Whoa! like all like, and then he just he fed off their energy and just started going. Aah! Aah! <laughs> so he brought it in at least, and then everybody got all uncomfortable. I'd love to see oh, that. Oh, it, it was brutal. Holy shit. It was brutal. At least oh. dress him up like an Asian guy <laughs> yeah, with the fucking straw hat. Like a rickshaw. Yeah. The fucking Wells Fargo rickshaw. Come <laughs> down, dude. He, he looked like he looked like he was going to be an offensive lineman. That's how big this kid Holy was. Holy shit. Oh, and then he fucking took a shit on the stage like a horse would. <laughs> no, he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't like full on. He, he was a little touched. And there was something about when they, he felt... It's like the first time you get a laugh on stage. That was his reaction. That's bad. His that was That's bad. When, when retards get touched, they kill things oh. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they got to twist the neck. They yeah, got to twist mice the and neck. men, they oh. fucking hurt them. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Joe. I just wanted to... Now! Now! Tickets are on sale now! Oh, shit, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Right now! Sorry. I'll tell you, if I was a comedy fan, oh, there's please. only one comedy show that I'd be going to. It's yep. a, a four-in-one comedy show. It is. It's like one of those things they sell late at night for 1995. But wait, there's more. If you <laughs> add, it we yeah, also yeah. have Jim Brewer coming back. Jim Brewer coming back. <laughs> Just pay a separate shipping in hand. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe um, you get two boxes of something, you know? <laughs> Jim will be there. <laughs> I actually, by the way, on the side note, read uh, Jim Brewer's book, man. It's fucking great. Yeah. What I read of it was fantastic. I didn't read the whole thing, but what yeah. I read was excellent, too. It was really... It's like, I just want to look for a couple... Everywhere you start, it's like, fuck, this is a great story. Fuck, oh. this is a great story. Dude, his the SNL stories are, are, are alone. Yeah. I are remember worse. him telling him here those stories, but I don't... Uh, I'm not a big book reader. I, this, this surprised me about you. Yeah. With your video games and your gun collection. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I read a lot. I just don't read books. Books. What do you read? He goes I to, he goes to uh, imright.com yeah. <laughs> and backs right. up all his theories. I'm right. <laughs> I knew it. Dot yeah. org. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what everybody does, including me. You have your theory. You have your mind made up before you even go into your research, and then you just read shit then that backs up. Then you find the shit yeah. that backs it up. Uh, dude, exactly. I, do, I do it all the time. As soon as I read something I disagree with on the web, I go, Yo, you can't trust what you fucking read on the I go, web. I, I go like, yeah. let me go to Snopes. 
And I go to Snopes, and it's like, this is false. And then I'll copy-paste and send it back to the person and go, see, that's fake. Meanwhile, why am I trusting this Snopes? What do I know what their sources no, are? No, all you got to do yeah. is just write in whatever you, whatever point you're trying to prove. Ah, Someone's going to agree yeah, with all yeah. those people on there. You that's know? all I need to back up my, my part of the argument. I do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I No, I read a lot. I read a lot of uh, uh, periodicals. I read a lot of, like, popular science, popular mechanics. I read American I just picture Rifleman. you walking around your house in a bathrobe with, like, a candle. For some reason in my mm. world, you live in, like, a castle. That's kind of... I have been known to walk <laughs> he around He doesn't have doors. He just has... A that, candelabra. He, yeah, he just <laughs> has those long drapes that he just sort of walks through. <laughs> <laughs> long dra long flowing drapes. Yeah, and you have a big chalice of wine. And I got that uh that big long gowny sleep thing with the, the pointy hat. Yeah. And it's the little your candle. I trust your journey was pleasant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the big knocker. <laughs> I hope you find your room to your liking. <laughs> and it's just a Do you hear the and... werewolves? They are the children of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been to his house? You ever been to his no. house? No. It's, awesome. it's an experience. Uh, of oh, course it's it is. So much it's, fun. Dude, it's, it's the greatest place. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. It's a fucking, I mean, with the exception of the host, it's a fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, get out of here. Long He's ribbing ads. Of shit. <laughs> no, it's an amazing fucking hang, dude. The pool, the jacuzzi. It's like, it's, yeah. it's like just a great fucking hang. But when I do that gig with you... Where, yes. where is it again, Jimmy? Oh, it's fun. I forget. Borgata, yeah, January 16th. By the way, I, did, I didn't show Bill. This is, this is like the, the billboard we're going to get. Oh, my God. Which is fine. I, I, have the, I have that up on my, my Facebook page. But have you seen the original one? That, that's, what I, that's what you want. Simple, our names, boom. This is, boom, you know what, Doug? This is the original artwork. They didn't have David Tell's picture yet. This is what they wanted to do. Yeah, why would you? He's just oh the best comic no, 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 for the last 20 got, years. <laughs> no, no, this was not the final problem. They were going to put Dave in here. Oh, my this God. This is what they wanted to use. Look at what they wanted to use. Look what? at you. You're holding a fish. Why? What and what is the what is the thing? It's some famous please rowing me? picture. It's not a famous rowing picture because no one knows it. Is that horrendous? The publicist. That looks like we're remaking fish. on Golden Pond. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're holding Walter. <laughs> Big old crafty son of a bitch. <laughs> holding that publicist. <laughs> Rotten fish face. <laughs> Beat it, self-important taxi cab driver. <laughs> Hang your fucking hack license in the back, replaceable. Wouldn't you love to... Excuse me, replaceable contributes nothing. Could you bring in talent star famous? And then, um, couldn't make it latches on. Could you take, uh, uh... Actor slash talented guy somewhere. Thanks a lot. Does nothing. Won't be missed. <laughs> Thank you. Gives nothing. Contributes nothing. Could you bring in memorable famous? Oh, one more Thank thing. Easily to... replaceable. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey it's, uh, it's all about you. Could you uh, please not come in the studio? Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, unrecognizable from the next. Could you please bring in stands out in a room? Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. You Thanks a lot. Willie Loman. Get out oh, of here. And one more thing. Willie Desperately Loman. trying to be important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, I don't. I can't see how. If my, I'm sorry. If my publicist did that, I would step on a foot. <laughs> oh, that is sure. It really excuse would. me. Yeah. Stands next to someone who actually does something. <laughs> <laughs> She's a. That, that's literally oh. like your chauffeur. Yeah. Getting out and saying, Ted Danson is not going to walk the red carpet unless I can walk in front of him. Yeah. You're a chauffeur. Is that it? You're nothing. You're a chauffeur I, and a schedule person. You're, right. a, you're a calendar. I guarantee she's going for a reality show. Oh, the you publicist. Think that's it? Yeah, yeah. The I publicist. Superstar publicist. Oh, I hate publicists for that we reason. We always see the celebrities. But who are the people behind the celebrities? Ugh. Here she is. Let me let me get my <laughs> iPhone. See this? It says Friday the nineteenth, and I touch it and, and dates come up. Yep. Here's what she is. It's a calendar. It's a calendar. Two <laughs> presses of a button. I can hit things and know exactly where I got to be. Oh, tonight, I'm going to be at Bar 9 with uh, Brother Joe and uh, the she rest of the guys. She is a secretary be performing. with delusions there. of grandeur. Dude. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, especially when I was not cursing at her, and I gave her the courtesy of coming out and addressing her. Uh, I, this is a woman used to being handled with kid gloves, and it's like, bitch, I don't give a fuck who you have she's the one that gets the last word she says you guys were pieces of shit yeah. and walks away and is like well i showed them the the idea that you came up to her and said something is unfathomable I, she can't believe she is at an, of, of 
absolutely no relevance to me. I don't care if you book people on Leno. I don't care if you handle De Niro. But I don't give a fuck. Would you fuck her? Yes. <laughs> Just so she has Imagine a memory. The angry fucking Jimmy would give her. Just so she has the. I want. Can we look her up on IMDb? I uh, want to see her roster. I'm curious. Yeah, where is it? I don't know her name. Pro? I honestly don't know her name. I'll find out. No, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, fucking we'll, name. We'll I it. plan on contacting whoever she works for. I'm not saying it's going to matter, but yeah. the the fact that she she I'll never bring anyone to your show again. Because we didn't want you, you no talent, sitting in the room with your fucking leech energy. What do you, yeah. what do you do? That's yeah. my job. Then do it before he comes to my job. Yeah. She yeah how exactly. dare you? She actually went for the old, like, you'll never work in this town again. Yeah, uh, kind Jimmy, of if a, you a tore thing. up. The level of ego that she sounds like she has. If she, if she oh, poked you and tore and you oh, nodded and you did that classic oh, Jim Norton. Just uh, tore guys, up. guys, my client doesn't feel comfortable unless I'm sitting behind him constantly blackberrying the entire She's fucking yeah, interview. Yeah. Constantly blackberrying and then holding up signs when we're having a fucking Dude, human she conversation. Sat there with a fu and I could see her from where I was and she sat there with a fucking scowl on her face. She's a and you talk about energy sucking. It She's started the to get in my worst. head. It got in my head. I was like, is she pissed off at the way this is going? Like, yeah, what, yeah. who the fuck is she? Is she his assistant? Is she a cunt? Who is she? She's a oh. nobody. No, she's just a publicist, and they're pushy by nature, which is how they get their clients' things, but I know the balance. She was despicable. She was despicable and rude <laughs> and entitled, and I'm telling Suffer you... Suffer and suck a artists that, despicable. <laughs> artists that have that fucking person, you have an idiot representing you. I don't care who yeah. she handles. Yeah. If my publicist pulled that shit, I would spit on her. It's unfucking believable dude. Those people are butlers, and it's like I'm butler. not gonna say her name on the air. No, 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 I have a roster though. Okay, if you had a fucking dinner it. party and your butler treated somebody like that, you'd be like, "What are you out of your fucking yeah. mind? You You're work doing. for me." She probably has a great roster. She's probably a good publicist. No, no, Dustin. don't don't hedge your bets now, Jimmy. I don't care. Let's stay let's with the anger. What the roster is. Mm. Um. Yeah, she's uh. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking. She's vice don't... president of entertainment for this one. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I don't see shit. There is not. If Danny, I would have known, his her, head. if I would have known what her roster is, I would have pissed on her foot. She has <laughs> nobody I care about. No, I mean I'm sure they're nice enough people. Right, now, Jim, D dude, Mandy Moore is a great a actress. Trying to make it in the world. And but, Zach was uh, a nice. I liked him. Yeah. He was a good dude. Zach Levi was very nice. I literally but don't know who any of those. I don't either. She was abysmal. There, that, that, that couldn't her. be their whole. That's just got to be hers. I, that's just got to be hers. Yeah. But the rest of the agency. Look up the rest of the agency. Is that our last name? Well, guess what? Yes. Fragrance. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's that that supports something I didn't want to say earlier before I had the information. Yes, but sir. it's like people that represent tons of reputable people don't fucking act like that. Anybody that right. throws their weight around. Doesn't Listen, have Joe, shit you've been in the around. business long enough to know how a publicist hey, acts. Bill, you know, they call me Kid Showbiz, where I come from. <laughs> oh, from everywhere. That's what I heard. Everywhere. Yeah, nice everywhere. everywhere I, got a, I, I got a, Billy. I got a great I go. YouTube yeah. video. Do you? I yeah. Like YouTube videos. We got a, when, whenever we go to take a break, I want to. I, I got to well, show you this. When we guys. take a break, it's we're done. Home time. By the way, is anybody uh, on Mr. Twitter? Mr. Got here uh, fucking five minutes before the show was over. Is that is that Levy on Twitter? Is he on Twitter? Who? Uh, that was the beginning oh, yeah, of a sorry. trashing, and I totally no. avoided it. No, I totally avoided it. I'm sorry, it. buddy. I apologize. I I'm not paying attention you. to them. I'm very bad. I'm trash sorry. Trash huh? This I wasn't going to trash oh, you. Come on. That's, oh, that's, I was this trying to get what you come in for. What? No, it isn't. That's what I come in for. I'm saying that's what I love, Bill. I love Bill Burr. I'm not buying this. He's setting me up for the overhand right. I really do. I find you very... His name is... It's... Z a c h a r y l e v i on Twitter. He's a cool guy. Don't fuck with him. But yeah. his yeah, publicist, don't fuck with him. he was very cool, and, and he's a good actor. And you know, I liked him a lot. But his publicist was really embarrassingly entitled and awful. Yeah, he should know that. Maybe he doesn't even know that. She's awful. Yeah. He oh, should. by the way, I'm, I'm me and Joe are going to have a little road trip driving down to D.C. Uh, we're going to be performing uh, there uh, tonight, actually. Yeah. At the. Uh, was it the listener? I'm the worst. The listener auditorium. <laughs> the listener. What is it? It's gonna be a listener there. Are you a bad I, plugger? I am the worst. <laughs> you know, you know what it is? You know, some people He's can't. A publicist. People can't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we really just proved why I have. I love my publicist. So do I. After we're sitting here, I'm agreeing with you guys, calling them chauffeurs. In the back of my head, I'm just feeling him going like, really? Is this how this son of a bitch feels? <laughs> is, is that how he feels? Yeah. Well, well. Oh. They're pushy by nature, which they have to be, but there's a lie. My publicist would never be having that rude. That's yeah, just rude, yeah, that's man. Fucking you, you say you threaten not Jim, bring just your client to, recap, to a radio station? Just to recap, how, how did you feel? About Zachary Levi's publicist. Just, you know, just for people who got here yeah, late. Sum it up. People who got here late. Hmm. It's, it, how, how, remember when De Niro in Raging Bull was being thrown in the jail cell? Uh. The way he was speaking to those guards? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I wanted to talk to her. Yeah. That's actually how she got in the fucking room. She kind of, <laughs> he was actually politer going into that than she was getting in. Poor Roland. <laughs> what an atrocity. You don't know where you're going because you don't know your history. Oops. You got three times I've speech. come here, Roland has been wearing oh. that same Bruce Springsteen. Those are the lemon dropping. Yeah. He is ap and, you know, no, and I, and I, so I, I, I was going to say, I would not be surprised <laughs> if he owns three different ones. What? Like, oh, dude, one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Is when I did this. I did this show for the troops, and Bruce Springsteen was there, and Roland was a, a is a ridiculous like likes Springsteen more than you like ACDC. Uh -huh. He was floating. Uh, he couldn't even move. He was like paralyzed every time Springsteen walked by. It was fucking awesome to watch really? a man like him have a dream come true. You got a hug from him. <laughs> wow, that's you really that like ACDC? I love ACDC. Mm -hmm. Do you like them? They're great, man. Yeah, I, I think that they're they're very antiquated when it comes to their online business. They're really dumb when it comes to that. Yeah, but as far I, as a band, they're kick ass. They are. You know what? I I just I just saw the Rush documentary that came out last year, and I broke. I put all my Rush the ones from the albums from the seventies on my iPod, and I've been going fucking crazy. Right, right, this whole oh, Rush. God, dude, I haven't listened to it so long. Yeah, it's because it was a pain oh. in the ass, like to just. <laughs> I never got into those guys. <laughs> you don't like the trees? I, there uh, is unrest in, in the, the forest. forest. There is trouble with, with the, the trees. trees. Oh, oh, the right. maples want more sunlight, All right. but the oaks ignore their pleas. Not one of the biggest hits. I know, but that's no, a good one. Two trees is a classic rock oh, song. But Great. There is unrest and in the forest. It's no limelight. Is it really about oh, trees? Limelight. Come on, limelight. Dude, they, uh, they're the only band I've ever listened to that I still love, even after I heard this lyric. Who has come to slay the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They really are That's just bad. nerds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nerds. They're LARPers. <laughs> they talk about that in the uh, in the documentary. They talk about like after their fifth album, they were like, "We decided after that album not to do any more twenty minute songs that went yeah. through five parts about kingdoms and uh, dragons." <laughs> Fucking Renaissance fair <laughs> shit. <laughs> dragons right. are queers. We get it. <laughs> they talk about playing one of their twenty minute fantasy epics for Ace Freely, and they go. He just didn't get it. <laughs> I'm talking about the cl culture clash. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you just... know you like to fuck hookers and do blowies? Let's do this 20 minute song about Frodo yeah, yeah. Baggins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, you know, I, I'm gonna try to cram in everything I wanted to talk about. I was, uh,. Out, out in L.A., right, and I turn my TV on, and uh, the, the show you got on here, the, the girl there with the leopard boots, had uh, oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Wendy Williams Wendy. had uh, Rick brought Richard Simmons out, and he comes out, all right? He's lost like 30 pounds. Yeah, He's 61 yeah. years old. You know, you start to lose your elasticity, so it's, you actually look better if you stay fat when you're old. <laughs> yeah. And he comes out, dude, with those little candy-striped shorts on and that <laughs> tank top on. With his hair plugs from like 1983, he could They're see awful. through. They're awful. You see dude, through his hair. It was fucking horrific, and I was. It just made me think of like, <laughs> you know, people who you you go into show business, and some people are themselves, and other people are a character. So you have a costume. Yeah. Like he might be at the top of the list. You know, Michael Jackson kept wearing the loafers yeah, and the yeah, short yeah. pants, and it starts to get embarrassing when you hit 50. He is 61 years old. I think he might be at the top of the list. With the I was shorts. even thinking like like fucking Angus to a certain level, dude. Like that guy sure, when, yeah. when he's 60, dude, to still be wearing the schoolboy yeah, outfit. Yeah, schoolboy yeah. outfit. But my, my vote goes Richard Simmons with the little shorts and then the uh, wife beater uh, tank top. Oh, and his I used to be obese man tits, 61 year old yeah. man tits <laughs> peeking out the side, and he didn't even have his fake tan. He was no. a fucking mess. And you did like <laughs> that hair was this sparse 
like shit. Somebody yesterday said it was, it was like that little stuff that you throw in an Easter basket yeah. before you put the little <laughs> chocolate <laughs> eggs on it. Richard Simmons <laughs> and Gene Wilder, yeah, the only Gene two people Wilder. to have that hair on the fucking and Gene planet. Wilder tried to do a comb over with it. Oh, man. That's, is there anything worse than old, fake, straight-haired Gene Wilder <laughs> when he started flattening it down? It's, flattening oh, the, the comb worst, over. Man. No, that's the funny thing about like uh, when you watch those hair plug commercials and somebody, they always say the guy goes, like yeah he goes i wish i did this 10 years ago it's like no you didn't if you did no you you'd didn't have, all you'd have had left with those plugs <laughs> all your other hair would have been gone and you'd have had the <laughs> no that's why all these people who are getting plastic surgery they're heroes they're letting them practice on their face. Like all those <laughs> real wa housewives that you see with their fucked up fits. Because when we're 80, we're going to actually be able to look 20 because yeah. of what they did to That's those people's one more face. The doctor went and went, Dude. okay, I should have yeah. done this. Yeah. Did, you ever, <laughs> did you ever hear that Pat Oswalt joke that he did about uh, when they were doing the celebrity? Remember they were doing that show where they make you look like a celebrity through plastic oh, yeah. surgery? How fucked up was that? Pat like, Oswalt had permanent this, plastic surgery. Yeah. 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 Pat Oswalt had a joke about it where he goes, do you realize if they did this? show 20 years ago he's like there'd be a guy on the table and just as he was going under he'd go make me look like gutenberg <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know who that is steve, steve gutenberg? gutenberg oh steve gutenberg <laughs> because we have dudes walking around oh, looking like yeah. john oates <laughs> he's like, it's like he... <laughs> yeah it really is kind of a time sensitive little uh, project you're going for there <laughs> god that would suck <laughs> Who would you pick? Who's the timeless celebrity? The one that you could go... Paul Newman. Newman, uh, Brad Pitt, Tom right? Tom Cruise. Cruise. You couldn't go wrong, right? I don't know. Could you? Jerry Vale. <laughs> <laughs> who's no, like, who's, who's the do... doctor? Who's the doctor in uh, can Cannonball oh. Run? <laughs> that doctor. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, Eli. We're going to dislocate your orbital. Or do you Elon. ever find... He got... Somebody threw a pencil at him. He got a pencil in his eye when, when he was, was a kid. Yeah. yeah, he should thank that guy. It's where he had a career. <laughs> totally it would have been the same without it. that eye. That eye is what made that guy. Well, right? that's the great thing about show business. Jack everything, Elam? Everything that didn't that get you pussy yeah. before you got into show business. When you get into show business, that exact thing is, is the thing it's, that's going to make you huge. What got you into show business? Jamie Farr's yeah. nose. They probably pulled yeah. him around by <laughs> during yeah. the lunch Mike, break. Knows, right? Mike Tyson's tendency to rape. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Got him all out of pussy in show. Bad while you're growing up. <laughs> Good once you're fat. Yeah, once you're in show business, it's phenomenal. <laughs> Fantastic. Totally acceptable. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is that guy's name? The doctor. Schwarzenegger? <laughs> it was Jack Elam. I it think is, right? is his real name. Was, uh, What's the line you were going to say? Dislocate what? what the fuck? No, I was going to say that that's what, if they were going to make you look like him. The doctor, you know, they, they announce what they're doing. Now we're going to dislocate his <laughs> oh, orbital wow. ACL. We're, start, <laughs> we're cutting away at the muscle that holds the eye yeah. in place. That so prevents it from it just looking to the right. Distinct cockeyed look. We're adding gut. Him and uh, we are also using uh, pictures of Marty Feldman. <laughs> oh. Remember him? Marty Feldman. Oh, my God, yeah. I he mean, seriously, thank guy. God he was as ugly as he was. He yeah. made him fucking famous. I'm yeah, not saying the guy famous. wasn't talented or funny, but, I mean, those fucking goofy eyes and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't have went as far, right? No. Nope. You know, I folks? I wouldn't think so. I would I mean, think so, folks. That's what, that's what I'm throwing out there if you guys are on. Yeah, if you just want to keep this. I, know I love this, this topic. is just slowly dying. <laughs> it's just, we're starting, we're all starting it doesn't to have, matter, though, because the show is fucking we're over. We're starting to have that, that slow look of panic in our eyes. Like, like Jesus, ah, Anthony, you got anything? All right. Not a goddamn thing. I got one thing, though. I know I'm going to be at the Borgata on January 16th. Yay! I am absolutely going. Good. And uh, I am going to see probably the comic show of... The a decade. millennia. It is a great show. I'll say the decade right now. <laughs> uh, I'll be like Pepsi tonight and tomorrow. You know, the new so. decade, because it'll be a brand new one starting up. Can I plug my show? No. Yeah, brother, Thanks. Brother, please brother. do, please. Uh, it's on uh, January 16th at the Tropicana. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not next week, but every uh, we're off next week, I think, probably because of the holiday, but every Tuesday... At the Ace of Clubs uh, at 9 Great Jones Street in New York City, I uh, co-host a show called Righteous Kill, 8.30 p.m. Please come yeah. down. It's always fun. Righteous Kill! Yeah. We, yeah, yeah. We Great ass! Yeah. yeah. Come to the show! Nice. <laughs> Gonna be a good fucking show. Success. Right. Worst death line ever. Uh, what's Con it? When Pacino was dying at the end of Righteous Kill, he goes to De Niro, Continued success. <laughs> and then just worst that. line ever. Oh, horrible. That movie was a real know. disappointment. What about man. the what about the one I showed you last night on YouTube? Uh, Shark Attack Three, famous line. 
Uh, it was a classic. It was, was great. Famous line from Shark Attack. I, I got this thing about to be a I, famous I, movie for a no, famous no, line. Just so horrific. I just got this segment on my podcast where I just started. Do you remember that? Uh, it started with that movie uh, uh, Over the Edge. Do you remember that? You must remember that movie. Matt Dillon, one of his first movies. It's about these these fucking suburban white kids that going crazy. And at one point, <laughs> somehow the the parents and the cops they all have this. They have a meeting in the cafeteria about their out of control kids, and they're all yelling at each other. Meanwhile, the kids sneak to the school. They lock them in the room and start vandalizing the school. So the cops runs to the locked door and he's looking out the window this fucking six foot two lummox looking woman student runs by with a giant globe for some reason stops and looks at the cop and goes eat it you stinking pig <laughs> <laughs> one of the worst lines i've ever heard it's so bad i loved it and i didn't realize that there was worse lines in movies and people have been sending me these things and there's this movie called shark attack three and yet just at one point in the movie the the uh, like, Guy just goes, all right, you know, kids, they'll see you in the morning. And then the dude's talking to the hot chick. He goes, yeah, I'm feeling a little tense. She goes, oh, yeah, how, how can you lose your tenseness? He goes, well, I can lose it after I eat your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> just out of nowhere. <laughs> that isn't the exact line, but it's just completely out of nowhere. You're just like, what? Exactly. I hate to disagree, Bill, is but I would bad? put that as one of the greatest <laughs> lines. <laughs> well, it is a famous line. It's a famous line in horrific movies. That, uh... They got all those. I got them up on... Um, the MMPodcast.com, somebody sent me a movie trailer of this movie called The Car, and it's basically, it's a car possessed by the devil. That's the premise quite Christina, of, of the guess. whole, yeah, that's, it's, it's the complete ripoff of that, and yeah. it, it's absolutely horrific. It looks like it came up before Christine, though. It looks older than Christine. It yeah. just looks that way. It looks I like bet, it was yeah. made before they understood how to make a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Stephen King lifted Christine from the car. No, he's up there in Maine. He's up there doing his own he's up, yeah, his yeah. own devices. He, he doesn't know what's going on. Shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 He doesn't watch TV. All right, do we have to get out of here? We do uh, it done, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was great. We, we, sort of, we sort of uh, petered show. out. Nah, it's okay. No, uh, I like, it's I like a... Jimmy's uh, his, uh, test pilot jacket. Oh, thank you. This is a good warm one. That's good. This is a very nice one. Pilot to Bombardier. Bobby Kelly just bought a jacket that folds up into a pillow. No, and he didn't, did dude, he? it literally, when you go to his dude, house, it's, it's the best, dude, dude it's... unfolds into a tent. <laughs> you, go... <laughs> <laughs> you go to his house, it's literally like watching QVC. It's all kinds it's like, of dude, look at this, dude. Uh -huh. He's trying it on and shit. You like this, dude? Dude, and now look, it becomes a pillow. You're on the plane. Boom, you're laying down. I'm telling you, you dude, shop for image, dude. <laughs> dude. The jacket is literally this thick. And I go, <laughs> Bobby, to it. I go, is that warm at all? He goes, it's the fucking warmest jacket I've ever owned, oh, bro. Of course, it's some kind of fucking no, futuristic not. space jacket. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, it's the fucking warmest jacket I ever owned, dude. Maybe if you, I light it on fire, you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> dude, look at these these forks I bought, dude. They have Fork. fucking little pockets on them. You can hide shit in the fucking pocket that hangs off of the little fork pockets. while you eat. It's fucking He's amazing, dude. Block, Best block fucking it, yeah. forks I ever brought, dude. Bobby <laughs> Kelly best. has made four million dollars in this business, <laughs> yeah. and he's blown it on fold-up bicycles, ponchos, <laughs> fishing tackle. Yeah. He's a gadget idiot. He yeah. loves that shit, dude. dude. Look at these; they're energy rocks. You put them, they would look like earrings. <laughs> yeah, really? Cool. <laughs> you need them, dude. Believe me. Uh, beforehand, it felt like shit. Now it just feels. Boom! Great. Put them on your chest. You relax. You fall asleep. Uh, Boom! Good dreams. Dude. I dude, got just this try it. Keyboard. Dude, for me. For me. Just try for it. Me. Just try it. <laughs> I got this keyboard, dude. It was nine grand. The buttons are flat. <laughs> yeah, but you have that one over do. there with regular buttons, dude. Ugh. Try you got to press try the it. buttons down, dude. Try it's the it, fucking dude. worst. Dude, dude, you dude it's, the, it's the future, dude. Yeah. It's you the won't future. go back to the old way, dude. You know what's the best is when Bobby buys something you actually like. All you got to do is hang around for about nine days before he tries to sell it to you for like oh, half yeah, price. Yeah, yeah. Because he's getting a new one. He does have a very short attention. Attention span with his sure gadgetry. A goldfish. Uh, okay, uh, Bill, <laughs> Bill Burr, uh, where are you? Where are you? Comics? Uh, 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 what, that what one's that? sold out. Listener. That's sold out, so don't bother. Uh, Listener uh, Auditorium in uh, Washington, D.C. tonight. Uh, me and uh, Joe DeRosa, the teen idol sensation of the Opie and Anthony program. <laughs> what are yes. your comics? Uh, comics uh, tomorrow night. Oh, in uh, Connecticut? Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. Tomorrow night. Good. After and I saw your rave reviews of the place. You said it's, it's a, a good game, man. Yeah, it was very yeah. enjoyable. And uh, Bill's got his DVD, uh, Let It Go. Let It Go. Available at Amazon.com. Yeah, which has an extra 21 minutes that they didn't show on TV because of the commercials there. Yeah, see?
Uh, commercials, huh? The commercials, The publicist there can go uh, fuck us up there, read it. Oh, jeez, meathead. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we got that, we got that, uh, and of course, January 16th, please don't forget. Oh, um, boy. Go see all the boys uh, down there in Atlantic City. And good luck, e -Rock. Uh, e rock E-Rock, uh, his nuptials are today. Oh, E-Rock will be a married man. After this, what's the over under that he pukes during the ceremony out of nervousness? Uh, out of nervousness or eating too much? Yeah. <laughs> I bet they have a mayonnaise cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's just frosted in mayo. Yeah. This uh. is wonderful. They're pushing mayo into each other's face. <laughs> oh, That's really I disgusting. Love you too. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Clang, 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 clang. Time to eat a milkshake and <laughs> give a toast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. All right, let's get out you of clang, here. You clang the um, fork on the glass and you eat some toast. Yeah. Oh, oh Danny. Do we what? have to leave it there? Yes. No. <laughs> Fucking oh, Danny. Danny, Danny it, was, it was going great. I'm sorry. Yeah. Danny. I don't uh, mean to say words when comics are in the room. <laughs> amazing <laughs> job helping out. Thank you so much, of course. It's like uh, the old Travis. days when we used to do that, that the, the canceled When uninformed. was that? Oh, my God. The uninformed. I don't even remember many, that anymore. Many yeah. moons ago. So remember that? Yeah. When we used to have fun here? Yeah, we used to have fun. Uh, just come over here. Yeah. There was something about me was flying 3,000 miles for free <laughs> that just sort of killed that show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Why didn't we? We, we could have. We should have been drinking that whole time doing that shit. We were at fucking midnight on a Saturday. Oh, uh, because we really. had hope. We had hope that it was actually going to do something. Fuck, was going to happen. We get but you guys had like two live shows. Everything yeah. was like pre-taped on a Sunday at two o'clock. That's Leave true. the hope at the door. Yeah, we've, well, that was the whole thing that. about not getting paid. You know, you, you had to go out and get paid. <laughs> no, Saturday I hear you. Night. Believe me, I'm not. I, I, I'm, I'm there with you. <laughs> Danny's taking swipes at, a, at the damn show. That <laughs> no, never. Right? Not, don't bite the <laughs> hand that doesn't feed, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> the hand that starves you. <laughs> so, yeah, don't bite the hand that is slapping everybody. Ah, right? oh, Chip. Ah, oh, you're precocious. Um, <laughs> we'll uh, see you all uh, Monday. Have a pleasant weekend, and um, I'll try to also. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah,